Yo, what's up, guys? It's Mike, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a paper background, like with the little comic-looking things. So, um, first off, you gotta start off with the template, of course. For the sake of time, I already made mine. And uh, if you don't have template and templates like Partner or Default, I'm gonna put the link to that so you can download it. You also need a wrinkled paper, and I'm gonna put the link to that download too. Or you can just go to Google images and type in wrinkled paper. So first what you want to do is of course you want to put a color to your background. I put yellow and then you want to go to your text right here and find the wrinkliest place in your paper because it looks actually it actually looks better. And you can change your text over here and you can change the font size and there. So, uh, what you want to do is just type in like your name or something, whatever you want to put. If it's too big, you just change the how big it is, or you could just make it longer right here. There we go. So then after you do that you want to come over here under the what looks like the rope and you should see something like this like a quick selection tool just click and hold and just uh, go and highlight over the magic wand and then you, while you do this you want to after you uh, click on the magic wand you want to put sh you want to click shift and hold it then you want to click on every single letter Make sure you don't click on the background, but also like highlight the whole paper. All right. After you do that, you can like go the of the shift, and um, after that, you want to go over here to select, modify, expand, and you can say expand by so many pixels. Um, I like to go either 20 or 30. It depends on what the name is. So right here it doesn't look that good, so I'm going to go uh, 30. 20 plus 10 equals 30. It ex it doesn't go back and expand by 30. It just adds 30 to it. So let's go 20 more. Uh, let's go 10 more. Just for this little spot right here. There we go. That looks good. So after you do that, you want to unlock your background, click OK, and then Control, click, and then hold Control and click on both the, your text and your background, and then um, you have to right click and merge the layers, and then you could move that over to your um, to your background. And as you see, you you will have the um, kind of paperish looking background to your uh, font or to your text. So um, if you don't want it like straight like this, like what I like to do is click Control T, and then like on the outside of it, you can kind of rotate it, and then you can make it small and whatnot, like that and then just like move it to the side or whatever and like once you click on the arrow right here it's going to say apply, apply the transformation you click apply and it's going to render it out good so um, because when you're moving it it's going to look like super weird it's going to look all pixely and stuff so don't worry about that Alright, so something else, if you actually uh, need it, um, something else people like to do is uh, do the snipers on there. So what you want to do is delete your paper and you want to make it again. So get the paper again. 
and then what you want to do is go like Google and download like a like a it's called PNG file, which means that when you like open the file, it's like cut it's like cropped out like this. There's no background to it. Like you can move it like all right. So what you want to do is you want to drag that over to your uh, paper and you click yes. And after you do that, you want to get your magic wand, and you want to click on your sniper. All right, and you want to zoom in just a little bit because there's going to be some spots where um, it's going to be like unclicked on. Don't worry if you highlight like the outside of the sniper. Like if this happens, you want to click edit and undo there we go once you have like a good outline of the sniper you want to do the same thing good free text select modify expand let's go 30 on this one and there you go you'll see that and then when I unlock your background okay control click on both of them right click and then merge layers then you want to drag that over to your background and there you go and you could make that small and you could turn it apply and there you go you will see like that alright so the last thing I want to show you all is um, something else people like to do which is put tape, like finishing touches, like kind of tape and stuff. And um, oh, I already have a preset, but I'm just gonna make one. So you want to go to new, and do do like a 100 by 500 like this and um... what you want to do is click over here on the lasso and you just want to crop it out like random spots and push delete and make sure your background's unlocked just click delete Like, just make it look like it's like a pretty cut up piece of tape. And then after that, what you want to do is uh, over here on the opacity, you're going to bring it down like to about 78. And then just drag it over to your background. Make sure it's at the very top so you'll be able to see it. And then Control T. You can like make it smaller. And then you can like move it around. Alright, so while I do this, can I please ask of you guys to like subscribe, comment, and rate on the. Uh, this video it really does uh, help a lot and you want to do it again control T and you want to drag it uh, turn it that way and there you go so if I zoom in on that it'll look like it's like tape to the background which gives it a really cool effect so yeah after that you can just render it save it and put it as your background so yeah so um, that's it guys um, like I said make sure you sub for more tutorials coming up uh, you like and favorite and if you need any help just
comment me or message me and I'll be glad to help you. Again, this is Mike. So, yeah, peace.